there's an amazing story of a man who visited his friend and noticed that there's this giant tree in his backyard. And he's thinking to himself, this is weird because I was just here a couple months ago. There's no tree here. What's going on? So he goes to his friend and says, listen, I was just here. There's no tree here. Did you plant a tree in your backyard? Like a fully grown tree? So his friend smiles and says, no, this is something called the Chinese bamboo tree. And the way this tree works is that you plant it and you have to water it for years. You have to make sure it gets sunlight and you see no growth. Zero. And then after years of working on this tree, in just a couple of months, it sprouts and it grows 60, 70 feet. And what you're looking at literally just happened in a couple of months. And the question that his friend was thinking about is, did the growth happen over the course of those years? Or did the growth happen over the course of the past couple of months? And it's a powerful question to think about. And this really is the theme of Tu B'Shvat. Because the way the Chazal and the way that the Balei Machshava talk about Tu B'Shvat, which is, so to speak, it's the new year for the trees, is that the essence of what we're trying to tap into is the concept of patience. Because what happens with all trees is that growth is very gradual. But when it comes to what we're talking about here, it's the patience of realizing that very often the growth is happening beneath the surface. Very often we can't see the results of our efforts. And when it comes to any issue, when it comes to any redemption, whether it's when it comes to spiritual growth, when it comes to relationships, finding a shidduch, when it comes to financial growth, when it comes to growth in Torah, very often we put in the effort, we don't see the results right away, and we think like, what's going on? And Tu is where you realize that very often the input of effort is significant, but you don't see the results right away. When it comes to that Chinese bamboo tree, the growth is happening not during those couple months and not during those couple years, but both. You need to put in the investment. You need to put in the hashtalis. But the results, it's just like you can't see the equation. You can't see the expression. You have to realize that you put in the effort and Hashem will take care of the results at the right time, in the right way, exponentially greater than you could have possibly ever imagined. That's a powerful way of approaching life because very often we either rely on cause and effect, so it's all our hishtalas, or we say, oh, it's all up to Hashem. But when you realize that you have to do both, you have to put in the hishtalas, you have to put in the effort, but the results come from Hashem, that's an incredible, incredible match. And that's the essence of Tushba. It's realizing that you need to build the work ethic. You need to put in the hishtalas, but you need to have the absolute bitachon that goes along with it. And when you can do that, it's an amazing way of living life. Because you don't say, oh, Hashem's going to take care of you. You don't say, it's all on me. You realize it's both. And that's really the beauty of Yad Lachem. It's the beauty of an organization we all know and love. It's recognizing that you want to put in the tefillahs for your own struggles, whether it's finding a shidduch, which you know, so many people struggle with, whether it's health difficulties, whether it's financial difficulties, whether it's just aspirations that you have. But we're part of a family, and everyone cares about everyone. We're all struggling as individuals, but we all are trying to strive not only as individuals, but as a community, as a kahil, as a klal. And that's the beauty of you send in your name, and you daven for yourself. You daven for other people, which, by the way, is the best way to daven for yourself. And then you put in your name, other people will daven for you. And it's a beautiful way of approaching the real struggle in life of... I really want it to come, but I want to work on my patience as well. Because anyone who's achieved anything you think you want will tell you that it had to come at the right time, at the right place. I had to be ready for it. And the best way to approach life is to develop the work ethic of devoting your life to your goals, but then recognizing that you only know as much as you know, and Hashem will send you the bracha at the right time. It will come at the right time as long as you create the vessel for it. So let's all get together. Let's dive in. Let's work on ourselves. Let's dream for a greater future. Let's not only focus on our specific goals, but also focus on diving for all of Klai Yisrael. You can send in your names and everyone will dive in for everyone. And Be'ez Hashem, you will receive your bracha at the right time.